One of the problems for, for, for the farming community, and I mean I say this as somebody who lives on a small holding, um, is that over the last 50 or 60 or 70 years we've seen a continually changing reason for farmers farming the way they farm. Government has paid subsidies, for instance, to increase production. Now government is paying subsidies to introduce environmental benefits and just hot off the press, ecosystem benefits. So there are all sorts of different reasons for, for supporting and working with a farmer. Now the problem is, is if you're a farmer, you get confused because the science hasn't changed, the causes of flooding hasn't changed, it's the policy that's changed. And the critical challenge is trying to think through what are those policies that a farmer might be able to see make some sense to them. Now it may make some sense to them economically. We now have environmental payments for uh, uh, agricultural change, which is good. But it might also make sense to do it um, because uh, by reducing flood risk downstream by slowing runoff of their land, they can also reduce soil erosion. They can also reduce nutrient losses. Uh, and so they get some benefits as well. And if you find a win-win solution, you really do want to go for it.